Welcome back to Rescue Bots Academy Season 2. Today we're taking a look at Episode 6, Heatwave's Shiny Coat. In this episode, Medic's puppy sits Heatwave the dog, who we previously met in the episode Dog Stray Afternoon. Remember him? <laughs> What's Heatwave doing with you? Heatwave! Oh, my husband Frank named him after his favorite rescue bot. Good choice. I feel like this episode's title didn't really have anything to do with the actual plot of the episode, but was instead just some clever wordplay. Yes, a dog and a fire truck could both be described as having a shiny coat. One's a coat of fur and the other's a coat of paint. And it's time to feed him. Wait, Heatwave eats food? Of course. How do you think he keeps his shiny coat? Why would Heatwave wear a coat? I kept expecting Heatwave to end up playing in the mud, and then medics would have to get him out of it and give him a bath, and then maybe the rescue bot Heatwave would show up, and both Heatwaves would somehow end up getting all muddy, and medics would have to wash both of them off with the hose or something. At the start of this episode, medics and his mentor Blades are doing a training mission in an out of control spaceship. A spaceship which looks a lot like Cosmos. In fact, just before Medics and Blades teleport in, we can see a robot face on the wall. Although this face doesn't look anything like that of Cosmos, either the G1 version or the Cyberverse version. Maybe this ship in this simulation is based on an aligned continuity or Rescue Bots version of Cosmos that we haven't seen yet. Cody was originally supposed to look after Heatwave, but Blades volunteers Medics to watch him instead, so that Cody can go to the aquarium with his family. His family, who we should all be familiar with if we'd watched the previous Rescue Bot series. Although I do wish we could have seen them in this episode. Even just a picture of them at the aquarium so we could see what they look like now, however many years after the original series that Rescue Bots Academy is supposed to take place. By the way, did you notice this animation error? In every other shot, Cody's backpack has a bone on it, but on this one, it's a paw print instead. I like that we see the scrubber dubber cleaning robot again from the episode All Washed Up. And there's multiple of them. So I guess Hoist must have worked out all the kinks if they now have multiples of them going around cleaning up for them. This also kind of reminded me of this scene in The Fifth Element. Look at all these little things. So busy now. Notice how this one is useful. What a lovely ballet. I also love how we got another cameo from Lucky Ducky. It's not playtime yet. And when it is, you're supposed to play with this. Yes. So Medix eventually learns to go with the flow and basically just do whatever Heatwave wants him to do. And we end the episode with Medix walking Heatwave in a virtual park in Hero Hall. Which brings up two questions to my mind, namely number one and number two. I'm betting they don't disappear after the simulation does. I hope those Scrubber Dubber robots also do pooper scooper duty. This was a fun episode. It was very cute to watch medics take care of Doggy Heatwave. I can tell you from experience, dogs are used to a strict schedule. I'm surprised Cody didn't give medics heat waves when he left him in his care. Oh, and I think he likes Din Din's first and then a walk. My list had it backwards. What about you? What did you think of Heatwave's shiny coat? Let me know down in the comments. Remember to like, subscribe, ring the bell, and do all that other fun stuff. And join me next time when we'll check out Season 2, Episode 7, Acting Out.